Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to estimate ending inventory in accounting. Now we use two methods, the gross profit method and the retail method. I've got two examples of each one, so let's get started. Hello, my name is Jeff from finallylearn.com where I help you finally learn financial literacy like accounting, Excel, and so on. So first of all, why do we need to estimate? Well, sometimes it takes a long time to count inventory, so if the count is too long, sometimes we have a way we can't count it because there's a fire that's damaged the items or theft or flood and it's just a quick way to know. So let's get started with the gross profit method. So here's what we need to know on the gross profit method. So problem one, Blaze Company has a fire with a total loss of inventory so we can't count. So what is the cost of that inventory that is lost? So we need to know things like what is our beginning inventory? How much do we purchase? What's our sales? And then the other thing we have to pick up is what is our uh, estimated gross profit for the last several months or for the last year or so. So we're going to estimate what our gross profit is. Now, our sales are always going to be 100%. So we're going to plug in that gross profit to be 40% and our cost of goods sold then will be 100 minus the 40%. So we're assuming if our gross profit is 40%, our cost of goods sold is 60%. So we plug in our sales of 157,000. Our cost of goods sold is going to be 157 times the 60%, so we assume it's 60%, and our gross profit here is 157 times the 40%, or we simply can subtract out whichever way is easier. We can take the 157 minus the 94,200. So that's our first step. Let's go back and figure out. We're not trying to figure out our cost of goods sold and our gross profit. We're trying to figure out our ending inventory. So our beginning inventory is 25,000. Our purchases are 90,000. So we have a total in, uh, available of 115,000. And we don't know our ending inventory. That's what we're trying to estimate. But we do know, we just calculated our cost of goods sold. So it's the 94,000. So if we take the 115 minus the 94,200, we get 20,800. So if we had a fire and we lost all our inventory, we can estimate that a cost of our ending inventory is 20,800. Now, the good thing about doing it in Excel is you could change numbers, right? So you could say, well, what if our cost uh, gross profit is 42%? Well, that changes then uh, the amount of ending inventory. Everything gets updated. You could also change, hey, we had beginning inventory of 35,000, not 25,000. Everything then would get updated based on that number. Okay, so let's look at the second problem for using the gross profit method. Just new numbers and we'll do a very similar format. So sometimes you'll get a problem that just has this information. It says, hey, solve and try to calculate ending inventory. So you want to put it in a format that you know. So I would set up sales minus cost of goods sold gives you gross profit. We know that our beginning number is always sales 100%. So we know that's the first thing we do. I'm going to point to the gross profit. That's 34%. That means our cost of goods sold is going to be 66%. So if our sales are, in this case, 202,000, our cost of goods sold is 202 times the 66%, and then we can simply subtract out 202 minus that 133, and we have gross profit of 68,680. So if we plug in our beginning inventory, which is 47,000, and our purchases are 114,000. That means we have goods available of 161,000. We're trying to figure out ending inventory, which we don't know, but we do know cost of goods sold. So our cost of goods sold is 133. So we take 161 minus the 133. And so our estimate for ending inventory then is 27,680. So this is one way to estimate ending inventory using the gross profit method. So we have to know some information, some accounting information, and then we need to estimate our gross profit percentage. Now there's another way to do this, and it's called the retail method. 
And so here's what we're thinking about. We have the Fletcher Company here has information. We're trying to figure out what is the cost of ending inventory. So we have similar kind of idea. We have the cost of beginning inventory and purchases, and then we have the retail prices of beginning inventory and purchases. So let's add up our total cost here. Let's give us a line here so we know that it's a, a summation here. So we have the total cost of inventory is 169,000 under the cost, the retail prices, now think about this, we have purchased inventory that costs about 170,000 and we're going to sell it for about 167,000. I'm sorry, 267,000. So we have a markup. This is shows the markup, the retail prices versus our cost. So here's what we need to calculate. We need to calculate a cost to retail ratio or a cost retail ratio. So we're going to take the cost of 169 divided by the 266 and we end up with not a dollar amount, we're going to end up with a percentage. And I recommend that you go to a couple of decimal places. So it's 63.41%. So that means for every dollar we have in retail prices, then we it costs us 63 and a half cents essentially. So we can calculate if we know that our sales are 212,000, we can say 266 is what we had available, the retail prices minus the 212. So our ending inventory at our cost, we don't know, but we know our retail prices. Our retail price means we have inventory we would sell at 54,500. So we need to back in and multiply it times that cost retail ratio. We're going to take 54,000 times the 63% and that would give us the estimate of the cost of ending inventory is 34,561. Now here it may come to pennies. We don't need pennies. We just round to the whole dollar. And so the cost of our ending inventory is 34,561 and our retail prices of our ending inventory would be 54,500. Let's do another one. You'll see how the retail method works. Abdul Company has the following information. What is the estimated cost of any inventory? Same kind of thing here. We need to figure out what is the cost of our items. So our cost is $330,000. $330, and our retail prices are $649,600. So we're gonna take our cost to retail ratio. So let's say our cost divided by our retail prices. And we're gonna get a percentage here. This percentage, and let's hang on to it, 50.81%. So we have a bigger markup here on this problem than we did on the previous problem. And um, the sales, I think I, um, I changed that and I copied it. So let's assume the sales, let's make the sales 512,000 rather than that 212,000. So let's say our sales are 512,000 so what is our ending inventory at retail prices? Well, it is 649,600 minus the 512,000. That's 137,600. Well, what would the cost of that be? So we have to estimate the cost. Well, we're assuming that the cost, the 137,000 cost about 51%, 50.8%. So the cost is 69,910. So we have two ways to estimate any inventory, the gross profit method and the retail method, both are fine. And we've got two examples that now you know how to do it. Hey, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.